It was a chance for Iowa voters to pose questions directly to the Democratic presidential candidates, including Hillary Clinton, no longer leading opinion polls in Iowa, now struggling to overcome scandals of the past and win the support of young voters. Uh, I've heard from quite a few uh, people my age that they think you're dishonest, um, mm -hmm. but I'd like to hear from you on why you feel the uh, enthusiasm isn't there. There's nothing to it. They throw all this stuff at me, and I'm still standing. Clinton used the stage to echo statements she's made on the campaign trail that as a former Secretary of State, she has the most foreign policy experience to be president. She took aim at the Republican frontrunner Donald Trump for his statements against Muslims. We need a coalition that includes Muslim nations to defeat ISIS. And it's pretty hard to figure out how you're going to make a coalition with the very nations you need if you spend your time insulting their religion. Well, her main rival, Bernie Sanders, acknowledged Clinton has considerable foreign policy experience. He highlighted what he considers her biggest foreign policy mistake as a senator in the U.S. Congress. Hillary Clinton voted for the war in Iraq. As an anti-establishment candidate who has pledged to overcome income inequality in the United States by breaking up major banks and reigning in Wall Street, Sanders reminded Iowa voters banks were deregulated when Clinton's husband, Bill, was president. I led the effort against Wall Street deregulation. See where Hillary Clinton was on this issue. Despite polling showing Clinton and Sanders leading the race for the Democratic nomination in Iowa, there's a third candidate, Governor Martin O'Malley, who made the argument he's the best man to overcome the racial tensions plaguing the United States. And yes, black lives matter. But despite O'Malley telling his supporters to stand strong, his biggest challenge will be to prove he's still relevant in a presidential nominating contest that has become a two-person race. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Washington.